New in After Effects CS5 are a suite of new features that is going to make you happy inside. First, for you guys who are lucky enough to have the latest and greatest high power computer system, you now have native 64 bit support, which means you can view up to 4K compositions with no problem. And it, of course, will depend on your system RAM, which After Effects choose like bubblegum. So make sure you have a lot of RAM and you'll be able to do lots of great things. You'll also be able to finally have longer RAM previews, which means when you hit this button right here to see a RAM preview, you can go longer than before. There's also a tool here for those of you who use rotoscoping as a part of your paycheck. You have this tool here called the Roto Brush tool. And for those of you who are unfamiliar with rotoscoping, it's when you painstakingly remove things from a shot. So let's say Godzilla's in a shot and there's a bunch of buildings back here. And of course, there's a human being standing here, the same height as Godzilla. Well, he's not supposed to be there, so we have to rotoscope him out painstakingly. This tool will help alleviate a whole bunch of tears and make getting rid of that person a lot easier. Now, in conjunction with this tool is another new feature called Refine Matte, which we'll talk about as well. And Refine Matte simply allows us to take the matte that we get with this tool and really tweak them and make them look better. Always remember that this is simply a tool and it still requires a human touch. So don't always rely on this to do the best work for you. You have to do something yourself as well. We also have a new auto keyframe mode, which is really going to be great for people who like to do a lot of animation. There is now support for digit effects freeform, which will help turn flat objects into 3D meshes, which is really, really cool. There are enhanced color tools. And last but not least, there's a lot of stuff here that we're going to cover in this tutorial. And you're going to be blown away by what After Effects can now do for your workflow. So let's go ahead and uh, get started and learn how to use After Effects CS5.